And when you had such players as Joe DiMaggio, who hit 46 home runs in 1937, catcher Bill Dickey, a 10-time 300 hitter, and Charlie King Kong Keller, who hit 334 as a rookie. Together, the Yankees won three straight World Series and took aim at their fourth in a row in 1939. And we pick it up in Game 4 with the Yankees leading Cincinnati three games to none. To Cincinnati come the New York Yankees for the crucial fourth game of the series. With Mayor LaGuardia, Lou Gehrig, and Mrs. Joe McCarthy lending loyal support. And Cincinnati's Paul Derringer for six innings, pitching airtight ball, but hold on to your hats. Here's Keller in the Yankee seventh. The rookie right fielder lifts a long high fly which sails into the right field bleachers. As Keller completes the circuit, sort of counting the house as he trots the baselines to break the scoreless deadlock with his third home run of the series. Derringer hooks one over to Dickey, and again the apple takes a ride as Dickey's smash travels into the deep right center field bleachers, and the Yankees lead two to nothing. The Cincinnati fans a bewildering turn of events. For the rest of the 33,000 who jam the ballpark, it's bedlam. 